Hi everyone, this is Marjorie. I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. Um, I'm doing a series called Get Ready, Get Set, Go. This is a series about keto, the ketogenic lifestyle. Um, it's a launch for people who are um, wanting to get started on the ketogenic journey or also people that are wanting to, you know, get back on the, back on track. And um, so the three uh, topics that I've been talking about so far, the first day was attitude, the second day was tools, the third was food. Now, yesterday I did part two of attitude. So that was the fourth one. This is the fifth in the series, and this is part two of tools. And before I go any further, I'm kind of old school. Everybody's been teasing me, but I don't care. I'm, one of my New Year's resolutions is to get busy and learn how to edit. So just hang in there with me. And if you're new here, please subscribe and ring the little bell. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. You're the people I'm doing this for um, specifically. So uh, continue on the conversation with me and thank you for being here. Um, now, before we get into it, I have something really cool. I'd like to talk about the Pantone color of the year. I don't know for any of you that are interested in designing or, you know, um, clothes coordination, color coordination, but every year the Pantone um, panel uh, comes up with uh, a color of the year. And that color kind of denotes what color people are going to be using for paint colors, for uh, clothing colors for uh, you know, decorating their home, clear down to cars and upholstery and different things. And the color of the year for 2018 is ultraviolet. So I just happened to have an ultraviolet workout uh, hoodie. And I also got my Keto Casey calendar and she is so cute. She's always talking about how she dresses like she works out, but she doesn't really because people always ask her where she uh, works out. So I'm gonna show you one of the pages on her calendar. I don't exercise, I just dress like I do. Do what works for you. I recommend you go by her calendar, it's really cute. So now let's see, we're gonna, oh, 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 before I get started with our actual tools for the day, I started something last, uh, oh, actually like three weeks ago, and it is, Shout Out Saturday. And Shout Out Saturday is where I try to help out any of the smaller little channels that are, you know, um, not in the thousands of subscribers. Today I'd like to shout out keto people because we're all thinking food, weight loss, you know, health improvement. I'd like to shout out to Angie's Keto Journey. She's in Australia. She just did a keto unboxing on her channel. I didn't even know there was such a thing. And I haven't watched the whole video, but I just dashed over there to see how many subs she has. And she has 113. So get over there and subscribe to her because she's really cool. And uh, watch that keto product uh, unboxing. Number two, and I may have already shouted out to her, but I'm doing it again because I love her. Uh, Debbie does keto. She's got 138 subscribers. And... She just did a video, which I also haven't watched, so when I'm done with this video, I'll be going over there and watching her video um, on comparing sweeteners, um, keto sweeteners. Sweeteners were allowed to use. Um, at least, you know, she's comparing that and telling us if it's really a good idea. I love Debbie, she's, she's just a sweetheart. Um, I love Angie too. Okay, and the third one is keto, keeping it simple. Now she's got 266 subscribers and the reason why, her name is Lisa, she's amazing. She just, her last video was a chocolate chip muffin in a mug. Ah, oh, yeah, I might be making that later today or maybe tomorrow, that might be breakfast. <laughs> anyway, um, she likes to cook. She's got a new tripod recently. I met her through Vlogmas. She's awesome. She's a her stuff her food looks good and I don't you know I'm not a big fancy cook or anything I already told you that um and then I like to shout out a couple of large channels and that would be for me Holista 
darling little girl lost a lot of weight absolutely very very smart and well done videos all of these people are you know really good at editing and do really nice jobs um ali mcwowie she has lost a lot of weight she's very sweet very pretty um they, they both have lots of subs but you you know they have a lot of subs because they're great so get over there and check them out okay so now I've got a lot of props here and I need to get started because I, I can only do this video up to 14 minutes. Um, are you getting excited? I am. I'm getting really excited. Um, did I mention that there's no exercise required to lose weight on keto? Um, I have something I'd like to read for you. This is Low Carbohydrate Living. This is The Art and Science of Low Carbohydrate Living with Jeff Volek and Stephen Finney. And I bookmarked a little spot here that I wanted to read for you real quick because if I tried to explain it, I wouldn't be able to say it this good. Exercise done by heavy people causes a lot of collateral damage. Think ankles, knees, hips, and low backs. So here's a radical idea, which of course is totally out of place in this book, wink, wink. Let heavy people try carbohydrate restriction first, lose some weight, which most do without resorting to exercise, and then let them decide when to become more active once they are empowered, energized, and lighter of foot. Making heavy people exercise is punitive. Enabling heavy people to lose weight and then become more fit is smart. It's my kind of book. Okay. Now, let's see, I'm gonna make a pile of books over here. Um, I'm gonna show you uh, one reason why I have, uh, you know, I'm really excited. I do a lot of research on keto. I do a lot of YouTube, a lot of reading. I think I told you early on that uh, this was one of the reasons I was excited. It is called um, the Alzheimer's Antidote. And it says, it's by Amy Berger. She's the one that does the TED Talk on YouTube if you'd like to go and watch her. Using a low-carb, high-fat diet to fight Alzheimer's disease, memory loss, and cognitive decline. Okay, we do not want cognitive decline. We don't want any of that. So these high fats, you know, healthy high fats are what she is talking about. That was on my nook, that's why it was kind of glary. I'm gonna show you my little library of books. Dr. Atkins Vita Nutrient Solution I've had forever. This is just a book that has nothing to do specifically with keto dieting. It's his book that has every vitamin and mineral that, you know, and what it's good for. I love that for reference. I think you can get that on eBay for probably a couple bucks. Another book that I've had for a while that I think is so wonderful, Gary Taubes. He was one of the pioneers with the keto, um, you know, why the keto diet was becoming quite popular, why we get fat and what to do about it. Author of Good Calories, Bad Calories. Good book, still reading it. This is my newest book. This is my guy. I love him. Don't tell his wife. <laughs> of course, she's adorable and she's on a lot of his videos showing how to make, oh, let's see, I made their spicy pecans that they made at Christmas time. This is the new body type. Get healthy, lose weight, and feel great. It was formerly called the Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I think I like that better, but at any rate, oh, there he is, Dr. Eric Berg. He does five minute videos, boom, gets on there, talks about the, the main topic, and shows you why with a dry erase board. Love him, easy to follow. Okay, the ketogenic cookbook, Jimmy Moore and Maria Emmerich. Excellent. You can see I have a few tabs up there. Yeah, I think I've tried three recipes. The Keto Diet, Leanne Vogel, also on YouTube. Very smart girl, very, very smart. Living in her RV with her husband, it's a very nice RV. They're traveling around with her book tours. Okay, I've got sweet and savory fat bombs. What is a fat bomb? Ooh, you're gonna find out if you don't know. Wicked good ketogenic diet. Everything's in grams. That's what my New Year's resolution is, to learn how to weigh on my scale with grams. Okay, 
quick and easy ketogenic cooking. Another one with Maria Emmerich. Now she's a cook. I mean, she's like Martha Stewart on keto. So if you like to cook, Maria Emmerich is your girl. Um, not so much mine. I love her books. I love to read them, but they're more like just reading a novel because I like to fix things that I can get in the kitchen, fix them and get out. Kitchen is not where I want to be hanging out these days. It, there's food in there, you know. Keto Comfort Foods, another Maria Emmerich. Um, biscuits, gravy, yeah, okay. Let's see, we're at 10 minutes. We got four more minutes. Is confidence a tool? You betcha. Get you some now. You can have confidence, this is gonna work, but you have to believe that you're eating healthy fats. That's one of the most important things. Um, and uh, I, I also told you about my favorite YouTube uh, YouTubers, Dr. Berg, uh, Keto Connect. They do recipes and demonstrations almost every day. They've got hundreds of them up there and they're such a cute couple. Dot to Trot has lost a lot of weight. D-O-T, the number two, T-R-O-T, dot to trot. She is so good. Cooking Keto with Christy. Okay, now I have a few little tools I'm gonna show you real quick. I piled them up here. This is called Bonjour. This is my little whisk. You can see it's bent, but I don't know if you can hear that. I forgot to put on the speaker. Oh well, I mean the uh, microphone. Anyway, I think you can probably hear me. It's quiet in here. These are very inexpensive on eBay or Amazon. I think they run like in the, just a few dollars, under 10, probably more like $5. I use it every morning for making my um, latte. You might wanna get one if you don't have a Nutribullet or a blender. Um, now, I'm gonna show you some cooking goodies and tell you, this is what you can use to put on your skillet and make a round egg for an Egg McMuffin or for um, eggs with hollandaise, or for making a keto pancake. What, keto pancake? Yeah, you're not gonna be doing all this right off the bat. You're gonna be sticking to, you know, the basics, meat and eggs and avocado and um, salads and vegetables and, um, you know, so yeah. But you'll get there, you will get there. This is a Silpat, mine is well used. I put it on a cookie sheet and use it to make my pizza crust for my keto pizza. Yep, we'll talk about that. These are all little silicone trays. My dog's whining again. She does it every time. For making, okay, look at this one. Valentine's Day is coming up. For making chocolates. Um, I think Cynthia was mentioning to me that she doesn't know if she can give up chocolate. Well, she said she could, but she's gonna miss chocolate and wine. You know what? Um, get some sparkling water. A splash of wine in a wine glass and have a wine cooler if it makes you happy. But do everything, make it glamorous. And this is a bagel, a silicone bagel pan. What? Bagels? Oh yeah, bagels. And uh, you can get everything but the bagel, which I'll show you tomorrow, it's a seasoning. So basically, and then I have one more thing I wanted to show you as I say goodbye. And I wanted to uh, show you Casey's calendar. I'm gonna show you the whole thing probably in a couple of days. Keep calm and keto on. So tomorrow, I'm going to show you some of my favorite food lifesavers. I've got a list already made and it's gonna be all over this island right behind me. I'm going to have everything that I think is essential and things that I don't think are essential. I'm gonna show you things I buy at Costco and uh, I'm gonna you, show you how I do sandwiches and salads and different things like that, Bulletproof Coffee. So please subscribe if you're new here and if you're a returning subscriber, leave me a comment. I'd like to know what you've, um, you know, what you're thinking about doing on keto. So anyway, thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye.